is crazy. Doesn't feel real. I'm a bit speechless right now. This is my moment. It's surreal. You feel the energy and you feel how proud they are for us to be here. So vibrant, so beautiful. This is Red Bull Cliff Diving. Some crazy locations coming up. This will be the biggest and best cliff diving season we've ever had. I've been working so hard in the off season, battling some personal issues, and to come out here and prove to myself that I deserve to be up there is amazing. <laughs> it's crazy, you know, I think I'm in a group of legends, you know, I've looked up to these people for such a long time and now to be still on top of the podium along, alongside Gary Hunt, my idol from a young age, is, is surreal. I'm super stoked. Um, I had a completely different mindset since Boston, so I, you know, the goal was to come in here and focus a little bit more and just give it absolutely everything, and that's what I did. You know, I always thought I. I will manage to compose myself regardless of the situation and today everything just erupted. I had no control and I'm happy that that moment, like I had that moment of expression in the end and I'm extremely grateful for today. Today is going to go down in my book as one of the most, most special days. The city of Copenhagen is vibrant and I love seeing places like that where you feel the energy and you feel how proud they are for us to be here. The fight is on. This competition will be the next step towards the title and we'll see uh, who comes out with the victory here. Oh my god, like, it doesn't feel real, but like, I'm, I'm a bit speechless right now. I feel, yeah, today all my dives went super well considering the weather and I'm really happy with myself. Now I can finally say it that the event's over, that there was quite a bit of uh, pressure on myself. Uh, coming into this event, I really wanted it to, to be a good result. And yeah, I'm, I'm super proud of how I coped with the, the conditions. There's three competitions, three different winners. Um, there's a couple of other divers that could get a victory here. So uh, yeah, it makes things interesting. It's kind of scary, actually. <laughs> and walking down that catwalk, I was kind of just a bit blown away. I've got into a, a mood and uh, lately I've been enjoying those pressures and kind of just trying to switch them around and uh, yeah, believe in myself and use it as energy.
And just to have a solid competition, um, that's, that's what I'm proud about. The bridge still makes me nervous every time. Wow, I love this place. The Mostar is very unique. The crowds are huge and, and usually they're one of the loudest, you know, like stand up there and you just like give some energy to the audience and you get it right back. I knew the level is going to be insane, uh, but I knew what I have to do is just to be at my best. So that's what I was focusing on. Grüezi miteinander, welcome to Switzerland. The most exciting year we've ever had uh, and for me, uh, yeah, it's the, the biggest fight of my life for, uh, for this title. I've only been in that spot one time before and it was in Boston where I got the win so there was some kind of anticipation that I put on myself but I managed to get over that. I was in the zone for a long time before that dive so to hit it the way I did, I, it couldn't have made me any happier. Super excited to come back here every time. I love Polignano. I think it's just the whole vibe of the place. Like, this is Italy. Dives uh, to end up on the top is a privilege. Last clap of the season. Welcome down under. This 
is an absolutely iconic place. The opera house right there, you see it in movies all over the place, and now we get to dive right in front of it. This event was uh, was my driving force. Um, it, it's what was behind all of the the hard work and the tears and uh, all the emotions. What a ride has it been! I'm so close to that top, and the pressure's just massive. It feels like a, a good stage for, for a hot final. Is it a bit cliche to say like this is a dream come true? I'm not sure. I'm obviously a little bit speechless right now and and everything happened so quickly you know there were so many emotions It's a new era with massive dives and it was my experience that got me through it. Looking on to the next few years, it's going to be very, very tough.